Uh, let's go to question number 542, 01 matrix. This is median question and a lot of uh, sums up. Let's get into it. Given our matrix consists of 0 and 1, find the distance of the nearest 0 for each cell. The distance between two uh, adjacent cells is 1. Okay, let's check with example 2. Okay, let's say uh, this is water and then this is island. So, <clears throat> each uh, cell indicated land and water and then uh, the number is how far from water. So, in this case, this is the nearest to, uh, <clears throat> island, so this is 1. But this is, there are no islands. So if we go into water, it take one, two, one, two. So shortest is two. So answer is two. Does this make sense? Okay, how are we gonna do? Mm, uh, I think that there are the several approach to solve this question. First, maybe we can solve with it, uh, BFS because the, this one need, we need to find the shortest fast. So second, we are also able to solve the DT. <clears throat> uh, today, I gonna use a best approach. Uh, time complexity is linear time with constant space. Uh, okay, let's brainstorming. Mm -hmm. My approach is to pass with uh, in place. So, uh, but uh, okay, but we need to be careful to use in place. Uh, that is, that we needed to ask to interview. Uh, may I use in place approach? At that time, uh, interviewer say yes is okay. But if you did not ask it, maybe. Uh, you lose some point uh, in a uh, real interview. The reason is, okay, <clears throat> uh, let's say you make a new function, mm -hmm. and then you receive array, and then if you have the modifier, array is one, two, three, like this, in place. So return array, something like that. And then maybe the other user maybe use this function, right? Okay, let me change the name. So when they made the array is four, five, six, and then if you want to get some value, so you did the sum function uh, array. And then uh, this developer uh, regards this one is did not change. But after do it, they say he printed that this one is changed to one to three. Maybe that this uh, has um, some risk to make the bug. Does this make sense? So that is the reason uh, why if we use in place, we need to get confirmed from uh, interview. Okay, cool. So my approach is first, I do scan on the matrix of forward. And at that time, I'm gonna check if matrix low and color current matrix bigger than matrix Low minus one column over matrix low column minus one plus one. Then I update column with name. Okay, let's say neighbor top. 
or left plus one. The reason is, okay, let's say we are here. In this case, left is zero, right is one. So if this one is, the, this one plus one is one, right? This one plus one. If this one is two, we need to change it. That's right, one. Does this make sense? And then first I will do forward uh, those kind of things. Second is I scan the matrix backward. So I start from here. So at this time, I able to check this one with this one, but I did not check this one, this, this one. Because this one is upcoming set, so they are, did not uh, manipulate it yet. So first, uh, while I going to the, this way, this way, I will check the previous two. When I backward, and then uh, this one is the previous, right? So we can check another two uh, location. So finally, we are able to check one, two, three, four location. Does this make sense? So, and then the return matrix is set. Okay, let's check the code. Okay, let's implement the code. First, uh, okay, let's calculate the length uh -huh, matrix. This is row, and then this is number of column, length matrix zero. Okay, uh, do we need, okay, I have a question. Do we need to do edge case, something like that? Not matrix or not matrix zero? We need to return none, matrix. We need this one. Actually, if we write this one, maybe we lose the point because Let's check this one note. There are at least one zero in given matrix. So that means we don't need to check the null, null check. So even though that is unnecessary things, if we do unnecessary thing, maybe we're gonna lose our score. Okay, cool. For low in range. Uh huh. And, and then I will do the forward scan, and then for column in range n, and then mm -hmm, if matrix low n column is not zero, I will do first put the biggest number to check the plus one number, right? So. And then I will do loud is bigger than zero and matrix minus one in then plus one because if this one plus one is one, one. If one this one is two, we need to update one. But if it's the one, no need to update. This one is uh -huh, bigger than matrix low and column. The time we need to update this one need some minus one plus one and then this one is the left and then we let's check the top. Uh okay, this one is mm -hmm. and then column is the same. And then now we finish the four. Okay, let's uh -huh, scan the backward two. <laughs> minus one, minus one, minus two, zero, and then <clears throat> we do one by one. We need change. No need to this one because we already calculate the values, so we don't. Do not need to initialize float, uh, float inf. If we do this one, maybe answer will be wrong. Minus one, and then this one is the plus one, plus one, and then this one is. 
then minus one, and then this one is plus one. Plus one, and then this one is plus one. And finally, we can matrix. Okay, let's check the code. Okay, cool. Okay, ooh. <laughs> okay, let's check the time complexity. Time complexity is we use uh, two paths, so uh, that is a uh, linear time we, we use in place, so constant, constant space. Thank you.